Welcome back guys. Please give a like and a subscribe and let's keep the channel growing. Thank you. So now we're on question three of the long questions, I would say. So Manimo owns a parcel delivery company that provides a collection and delivery service for businesses and individuals. Customers can use the company's website to book the collection of a parcel. Manimo has purchased a new server for the company network. Uh, the server will be used <clears throat> to store shared resources for staff, host the website, hold customer details and details of collections and deliveries. Discuss the factors Manuel should consider when planning the implementation of a new server, of the new server. So here we have our answers. The first one, they have uh, time scales. This is something you must consider. How long will the installation take? Can it be scheduled for a time when the company is less busy? Is there a target completion date? If an external company is installing the server, is there a penalty if they do not complete it on time? This is normally the case if you have a contractor come in, they say they're going to finish it in by X time, you've paid for X time and they've not delivered. In most cases, you can get compensation. You, you can get some money back or they'll have to do more stuff for you, let's say. If Manuel's IT staff are installing the server, might other tasks get in the way of the work and increase the time it will take to install? This is very possible as well. So testing. Has testing been planned thoroughly? They will need to ensure the operating system server will work with the other sections of the IT department, let's say. Well, should Everything should work together, so they need to test these things. Has the server been tested for security, intrusion testing, sniffer software, data leakage, etc.? Uh, scalability, software hardware compatibility as well. That's something you have to test for. So I would say go over these headings, right? I don't think I need to go over every single heading because they're pretty self-explanatory. So time scales. What does time scale mean? And why does manual need to consider this? What is testing? And why does manual need to consider this? Now, please pause the video if you want to read over these answers. Planned implementation. So how long is it going to take again? Can you do things alongside this while it's being done? Uh, we have downtime. Downtime simply means when it's not working, typically downtime is going to cost the company more money. And if it's unplanned, like it says here, then it's definitely going to cost the company money. So let's say this was supposed to be done over the weekend. So we leave work at Friday at 5 p.m. And it's supposed to be completed. Everything's supposed to be completed by Saturday, Sunday. But we come back to work on Monday and things still aren't working. That's going to be unplanned downtime. So normally on a Monday when we're calling customers trying to make money and, and nothing's working, that could be an issue. Next, we have security. So data during changeover, setting up the systems on a new server. So we need to make sure that every so the security is good enough for the system that is going to be implemented for. So we need to have a server like this probably should have a firewall, a hardware firewall. It should probably have some protection against DDoS attacks. So that's distributed denial of service, so DDoS. It, pro it, it should probably have um, a firewall or anti-malware software on the actual server itself. So software and hardware firewall accompanied with that. Next, we have replacement. Um, so integration with the current systems. Does it work well? So this new server that we're getting, can all the other systems that we currently have work with it well enough for us to continue working? Or do we have to strip everything out and keep moving again and, and start from scratch? Disposal of old server. This could cause environmental issues and security issues as well. Environmental issues because we have to dispose of it in a sensible way. And this does cost money in most cases. Security issues. There might be data on that server still. So if I... I'm walking down my street and you know some people they put stuff out that they don't want in their houses anymore and I see a server I might be like oh this is nice I might try to bring it home and I might try to open it and see if there's anything useful in there because a server has thousands and thousands of pounds worth of materials inside okay so security issues you should always cleanse the server wipe everything down in, in not physically wipe it down but like software make sure it, every drive on there is completely empty and even then you should still dispose of it, have a professional dispose of it. Next, we have training, IT staff users and cost. Do we have to train the, the new staff to use the system, right? Um, how much is it going to cost to train the staff? Because typically, you have to maybe take staff off making money for the company for an entire day or two days or even a week in some cases for them to learn the new system. That's going to cost the company money. They're going to be a week behind whatever they thought they would be doing. 